Hi, it's Noms, and today I'm going to go over a review for the Sedona Lace um, Professional Makeup Brushes, um, the set of 12 in pink. This is sort of going to be a little long video because I want to just tell you some stories and show you some brushes and um, then get to the review. Because I was the type of person that um, thought that like a professional set wasn't I didn't need it like I could just buy the cheap brushes and um, it would just be fine and that would just be it and I wound up spending more money on cheap brushes that actually didn't work and some a few did but more didn't work than if I would have just bought a set and been happy with it so the last two years I've been searching and buying brushes online and buying brushes from elf and um, some from um, Coastal Scents, and even some from Crown, and I know the brush set um, from Sedona Lace and other places that is supposedly comes from Crown anyway, I don't know, I'm not for sure, but I always ran into things that, um, I wind up having about 30 brushes that are correct brushes, so I'm going to go through a few of the brush sets, because some people have these sets on their sites, and they suck. And I just want you guys to know they do. And it's like a buyer beware thing. Don't get them. They suck. So the first one is just, I don't, I got this off eBay and I know a lot of sites have this. I've seen it. And it just comes in this purple case. And some of the brushes are missing because some actually broke. And I'll use these brushes for like if I want to do, um, you know, something with... <clears throat> liquid or cream it doesn't matter if I ruin these brushes it's like who cares but it's like a purple set like this and these are missing because they actually broke and it looks nice and it's like ooh purple great wonderful these totally suck these don't pick up any product like this is supposed to be like the big I guess um blush brush or brush or whatever can't do anything with it. doesn't pick up any product. Same as the angle brush. You can't contour. You can't do anything. So these just sit around because they're crap. If you see these on people's site, don't get them. They're not worth getting. Next is the big, um, I think this is like 32 brush and it's like a, I didn't know this was like a fake MAC thing when I got it, but it is. But it's like a 32 um, brush that has a fake MAC sign and and it's like, oh, you get 32 brushes for like $20, $30. And you're like thinking, okay, maybe all of them aren't going to be good, but some of them are. And that's, uh, that's just not true for me, at least. And these are, it's sort of long to show you guys, but 32 brushes, which are some I'm missing because some broke too. I don't know if you guys can see with the light, but they're just all these brushes that are complete waste of money because they're so oddly shaped and I don't know if you guys can see that like what are you supposed to do with this brush I don't know <clears throat> um of course nothing's going to be wrong with a brush like this because you can't go wrong with that so I'll just put that over there but I just want to go through like a few they have two large um, makeup applicator brushes do we use these people? No, we, <laughs> we throw them away when we get them. Why do we want two large ones? That just doesn't make any sense. The rest are just mainly real flat um, brushes, real flat, you know, and like I said, maybe you use this if you are wetting colors and stuff and you don't want to ruin your good brushes, but that's mainly what they are. They're not good to use. Um, the bigger brushes are, and I washed all these, and these are disgusting because there was so much dye coming off it, it was just, it just turned into a real gross color, but, like this fan brush, oh my god, look at this guys, this is the fan brush, it's not soft, if, it feels and looks like if you were to just pull hair off a bear's ass, I mean really, like this is, this is a grizzly or something, a grizzly they shaved and put on brushes. That's what I feel like when it comes to this. It sucks and I hear people saying, it's good if you're just starting out and no, don't, don't purchase the brushes like these. They suck. I don't know, I'm going to be saying suck a lot in this video when I'm talking about the brushes I don't like. Then just another part. And, and then look, look, like, what's this? 
what's this? Did you get this off a of skunk's ass? I mean, what? Why is it like that? That's just gross. It's just there's nothing appealing about these brushes. That's why they they stayed in their um, packaging. It's just like I said, I don't like them. Um, they might, some of them might look like they would be good, but I just really don't trust the hairs on them and um. Like this, the stupid fan brush. Like, what are you really supposed to do with that? It's all deformed. But, um, yeah, so that's the 32 piece, either a fake Mac or just the 32 piece that doesn't even say it's fake, but doesn't even say Mac on it or whatever. That comes in this big old brush roll. Why? I would, why do they sell it? I don't know. It, like I said, came from a skunk or a bear or something. So, on to like the e.l.f. brushes. First that I will say good, two brushes from e.l.f. that I love, that I'll keep on report, re repurchasing. It's the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I love this brush. So, this one is good. And the e.l.f. powder brush, that, the flat top. I love this. I use it all the time, as you can see. Um... The ferrule is getting loose after about two years, but it's only $3. I'll repurchase it, and um, I just really, really love this brush. As far as this, the e.l.f. powder brush, and I think this is like the mineral line, I've tried and tried and tried to use this. It's really, really soft, but it doesn't pick up much product for me. Their foundation, angle foundation brush, the studio line part. It, it's a crappy brush. It doesn't it doesn't apply foundation for me and to get it clean after a while I don't know how to do it because the foundation like sticks in the middle of it um, Because it's too too dense and I can't get it clean, but who cares because it sucks anyway um, This is the elf contour brush. It's just too stiff to really do anything with it and if you buy multiple, they're never really the same shape or anything. So you might find good ones if you keep on buying them, but I haven't run into a good one yet. So as far as the Coastal Sense brushes, I don't even want to talk about them because they made me so mad or even... I'm going to though, okay. I'll just talk about one. This is like a crown brush, okay. This is a pencil brush. It is so hard and prickly. Um, it will make you bleed, I feel like. This is a Coastal Sense brush. Like I said, they would be crown brushes, too. It's wide and stiff, and I can't do anything with it. And that's how a lot of the brushes, um, are from them. Another good e.l.f. brush. I dropped, and I'm not, don't feel like, pick it up. Well, don't forget about that one, because I'm not moving right now. It's too hot. Um, that's just like the Dollar Line Elf Shadow Brush. That's a good brush, too. I just don't like how short it is. So, and just let's go with their, is this their blush brush from the Studio Line. It's okay. I just, I mean, it's okay. It's not the greatest. Their Complexion Brush looks like this is nice and soft. Doesn't really pick up much product for me either. Sorry if there's dust going around. Use these. But then it's just like, look at this. Look at the handle, if you guys can see. It's all chipped, and, and it just moves around. I think this even cut. Look at that. And I haven't even used this. And it's all chipped and gross. And, you know, I don't want brushes that are going to turn out like this from not even using it. Just from It's falling apart and just from sitting around. I mean, just stick with the wooden handle that's under it, you know? And make a ferrule that actually stays tight to stuff. On to the good part. So, I know in my other reviews, I, in my other videos I said I was going to get finally um, a breast set. I was thinking about either Sigma or Sedona Lace, but in the reviews I've seen when there's they compare the two, they seem to be the same. So, I didn't want to spend like $100 on a breast set when I could pay half that. And they pretty much, you know, have the same brushes. So, I went for the Sedona Lace um, 12 piece professional makeup brush set and 
Uh, okay, and then let me, let me show you because I don't have it in the case, but it comes in this. Um, I don't know what to call this case. It's like a purpley pink color, but if you it might, it might look more pink. Might be more pink. I don't know. But then inside, that's where they hold you hold the brushes like that, and it just closes up this way. And has the strips that go around. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um, it comes with um, about your brushes, how to care for them, and what they are. Like here's this dumb lace thing, and what they are, and everything like that. How to wash them. First, I want to start with the foundation brush, which is the 727. So the 727. Um, looks like this, except it's dirty because I used my foundation on it, but I love the length of the brushes, I love the color, they're pink. The ferrules seem pretty tight on there. This is the first foundation brush, and I've tried about four of them, that I actually enjoy applying my foundation with. I usually just go ahead and use my fingers because I got so sick of trying to use brushes. I've already cleaned it, um, about three times, it's fine. And, um, I really, really enjoy using this brush. So this is their, um, 727 brush. And it just looks like that. And see the length. Now my hand's big, so. Let me compare it to... It's just the regular flat top. It's almost the same size of the e.l.f. brushes. So, they're pretty long brushes. Next I'll go in with the... 376 and this is their powder brush so this is close to like one of the elf brushes I showed you but this actually picks up product and the handles nice and, and big and I just love it it actually picks up product and it you know it's really comfortable and soft to put all over your face I love this brush so this is the 376 that comes in with it then we have the 813, and this is the the dual fiber brush, which is, let's see, what's this known for? Like the airbrush look, using liquid foundation, and it even says not the best brush for cream foundations, and you know, so it really breaks down what it is. I haven't used this brush. I washed it. I haven't used it yet, so I can't really say much about that, but that's what this looks like. And, I mean, that doesn't... I don't know. It just seems a little too um, flimsy, but I can't say because I haven't used it yet. So that's that brush that comes with the set. Then we have the 850. This is the large angle contour brush. So of course this is I used again. This is the white fibers, and um, you know it, it's good. It's great for contouring your face. It's, I really, really love this one. brush. It's nice and soft and it picks up product well. I think when I cleaned it, I cleaned it twice so far. I didn't get it the color that it was originally. I'm, I'm wondering if there's something I could do to make it that color again. If you guys know, just leave down below. But I get it clean. It gets almost the color, just not exactly, I guess, because I use dark powder to contour. But this all these brushes are replacing my brushes because they're so much softer and they're so much easier to use and I just I love how the handles not too light not too ha um, heavy just like fits just right in my hand and I just really love them okay next we'll just go with the smaller brushes now and the 863 let me read what the 863 is taper blending brush and that just looks like this and it has powder on it because I used it and um, this is this is the only brush that has like a little bit of sporadic hairs poking out after you wash it but that doesn't really bother me that much but to, it's just to blend and it's it blends very very well best blending brush I've had um, these brushes look like they're built to last so you it's just good you just Putting on your makeup when you have brushes that are actually 
up to par is like a whole different experience. It's like you're not struggling to put any products on because it picks up the product so easily. It blends out the product so easily. I've been in heaven since I've had these brushes and I really think it's, a, it's worth it. It's worth an investment and it's not much money, but I thought it was a lot. I thought I'd get the cheaper ones. I'm telling you guys, you should invest in one of these sets. Um, the next one is the 407. I'm not going in order, which I should have. Might have been a little quicker, but uh, the 407 is a medium angle shading brush. And this is just um, an angled brush. Just, I haven't really used this one either, but it's just an angled soft brush. Real soft and nice. Next one is the angled. This is the 561 and you know it's just angled eyeliner brush I believe they would call it an angled eyeliner brush small angled brush for cream eyeliner and it works just like any other cream eyeliner brush I have I haven't really been disappointed in um, cream eyeliner brushes that are angled like this they pretty much do their job so I thought that was good this is the 954 954 is the concealer brush so it just I use this too it just goes in um, to conceal and it's just nice and soft and um, blends really well this is the 904 and this is the pencil brush so this is for and it tells all the purposes but this is just for the corner, you know, the eye or just the inner eye. And it's, it's just really, really soft too. And um, really, really works well. All these really, really work, work well. Then this is the 772. 772 is the eyeliner brush. Now, here's the eyeliner brush. This seems a little too thick for, um, you can see how thick it is. I haven't used it, but it seems like it would be too thick for an eyeliner brush. So, I, I'll try that out. My two favorite brushes I left for last, which is the 305 and the 941. 305 is the eye shading brush. That looks like this. And this is just your typical eyeshadow brush and it's so soft and it's a little thicker than a lot of brushes that I've had and um, it just when I this was like one of the first brushes I tried and it just made my experience with um, loose powder loose pigment especially just so much better because it just packs it on so much easier without it just falling all over the place I mean it, it just it's just wonderful. And then we have the 941. 941. 941 is a large shader blush, brush. The flat shaped brush is ideal for applying eyeshadow primer and cream formate formula. So, um, I mean, this if you wanted to put more product up there. <coughs> I'm starting to lose my voice, but... I really love this one and this one like I said I used it both they're both really really good so <clears throat> I can't say anything bad about these brushes I got them when they're having the $10 off sale which I still think is going on where they take $10 off the brushes um, and like I said I got the pink set of course you can see that I would invest in it it's it's $49.95 and Think about all the single brushes you bought that suck. They add up to way more than that. Uh, their shipping is, I believe, $6.95 or maybe $7.95. I'm not sure. I should have checked. But there's codes that you usually get like $4 off. I think Glamour Doll Eyes has one. And, you know, you get it off the Sedona Lace site. So you're not going to pay really full shipping or whichever way you want to look at you get the discount. But I just think they're worth it. I, um, when I order from Sedona Lace, which I have one of their palettes too, anytime I order from Sedona Lace, um, I get my shipment in three days. They're the fastest place that I order from 
then I get my stuff. I'm, it's like I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till it gets here. It gets here and it's there. So I really love the fast delivery. So um, when I washed all the brushes, there wasn't any shedding. There isn't any shedding when I've used them. I've used them for I want to say a week and a half now. So it hasn't been like a long, long time, but long enough for me to know they don't seem crappy. And I suggest to all my friends out there to get this and to tell me what you think because I really think it changes my whole experience with makeup. It enhances it so much because I don't feel like I, I have to struggle with blending or anything or just, just trying to keep the color on the brush enough to get it to my eyelid and blend it. It just, like I said, a whole new experience. I love these brushes. So, like I said, this is Sedona Lace. Um... There's the name of it right there. And they have the black brushes in that set too. So I'll have a link for Sedona Lace down below. And I hope you guys like this review. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try to answer them. But I think I pretty much covered it. They're all good brushes. Eyeliner brush might be just a little too thick for an eyeliner brush. But I'm sure there'll be other uses. You know, they're 12 brushes. So you can find some use for them. And I think that's it for now, and I should be trying to get to sleep. <laughs> so I just wanted to do this real quick, and I will talk to you guys later.